Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where military and aspiring military social workers can come for relevant news information and inspiration all right so we are continuing our our series on black history month this is our second installment of of highlighting african-american military leaders of the highest ranks okay so today i i feel very privileged to talk about our current Secretary of Defense, our first African-American Secretary of Defense, Lloyd James Austin III. All right, so let's talk about him. So Secretary, Secretary Austin was born, born in August 8th, 1953. He is a retired four-star general who was sworn in on January the 22nd, 2021. As I mentioned earlier, he's the first African-American to serve as U.S. Defense Secretary. Austin previously served as the 12th commander of the U.S. Central Command, or CENTCOM, from 2013 to 2016. Austin was the 33rd Vice Chief of Staff of the Army from January 2012 to March 2013 and the last commanding general of U.S. forces, Iraq Operation New Dawn, which ended December 2011. In 2013, Austin was appointed as the first black commander of CENTCOM by President Barack Obama. He retired from the armed forces in 2016 and joined the boards of Raytheon Technologies, Nucor, and Tenet Healthcare. So let us look at um, his career and look at his commands. I, I think it's very uh, instructive to look at a, a leader like Secretary um, Austin by looking at his, uh, his previous commands. So again, he was commander of U.S. Central Command. He was vice chief of staff of the Army. He was commander of U.S. forces in Iraq. Um, he was commander of multinational corps, also in Iraq. He was commander of the 18th Airborne Corps, the 10th Mountain Division, the 3rd Brigade, 82nd Airborne, the 2nd Battalion, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment, He has, he has a very, very long and distinguished resume as a commander. And he did serve uh, for about 41 years. Um, so now he's our Secretary of Defense and he gets to utilize all of his, all of his great military experience um, to, to uh, be in command at the Pentagon. Um, so I feel very fortunate to be able to serve as a, as a uniformed uh, military social worker um, under, his, uh, under his current leadership as Secretary of Defense. Um, so that's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here. But again, um, we are highlighting Black History Month in February. Um, so we'll be bringing... We'll be bringing some more leaders as well as units. I would like to look at, um, you know, some units like the Tuskegee Airmen, um, and I'm going to also be looking at the Harlem Hellfighters. So um, look out for those. But I want to thank you for watching this video. For all the social workers out there, thank you for all that you do for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.